Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm really excited today because we're doing a tutorial that I've probably should have done a long time ago. Uh, this is a tutorial on advanced color picking. This is tips and tricks, and all the shortcuts that I know on on picking in Photoshop, and this is going to transfer, I know, to a couple other programs. So the first one that I think most people know how to do is color pick with a pen. So you're gonna see here, color picking. Now this is gonna look a little different to people. So I'm gonna to switch to a, a different brush. Okay. All right, there we go. And we're gonna pick here. And I'm using the color picker, uh, the Tablet Pro pen tool. So this is on a Surface device. So here I'm gonna open that up. And I've selected Alt for the Surface pen. That's this one right here. Selected Alt, clicked Apply. And uh, that tool can be found in the Windows Store under Tablet Pro Pen Tool. So again, we're just going to click and we'll drag and we'll pick our color. And you can see here it does uh, exactly what you would expect it to do. Uh, by the way, I'm using a Surface Pro 6. So here uh, you can see I'm picking colors that way. The next way to do it is the Tablet Pro um, Artist Pad here. So you can put Alt here on the screen and do the same thing. Now that shortcut, you can see all the shortcuts are being displayed down here by uh, key press OSD. So that shortcut for Alt is modified because uh, Photoshop does not support the new Windows Touch API, which is where uh, true multi-touch, or not multi-touch, a uh, simultaneous pen and touch actually works. So this button right here is a blank button with plus one second and alt. So what that means is you press it, it holds down alt for one second and then releases it, which is how we get around the um, lack of true multi-touch or true uh, pen and touch support. All right, so that's another way. The next way I think is actually really cool. This is alt, shift, and right click. And you can see I can really quickly adjust colors here. And I love this one. I use this all the time. And here, if you go to the side far enough, you're going to be able to adjust that uh, color to a different color. So let's go up here to Preferences, General. And then I want to show you here, uh, this is the Hue Strip. This is the HUD color picker that we're using. So let's say we want the wheel, which I think is Kind of ugly, honestly. There are better looking ones, but it's a different experience here. So you can see that I, uh, I myself prefer the standard um, HUD color wheel or HUD strip. Small. Yep, there it is. Okay, now if that on your machine is super super laggy, um, there's a good chance that you have a setting turned on or off that we need to adjust. So let's quickly go over that. We're gonna click on the Windows key. We're gonna to go to Devices, to Mouse, and we're going to adjust Additional Mouse Options. Go to Pointer Options and turn on Display Pointer Trails. And bring it all the way to Short, click Apply and OK. And that's all you have to do for that. And that should then work definitely work a lot smoother than prior to that. And that's a, unfortunately, it's a bug in Windows that uh, really affects this, but this is a little workaround. All right, so that's tip number two. Tip number three, I think, is really cool, and just recently have I kind of figured out how to do this one. Um, with Tilt, there's a couple new options that we have available. Let's turn on our color dynamics, and we're going to choose Pen Tilt. You can do this with pen pressure as well, but I find tilts a little bit more easy to adjust. Keep all of these over at zero. By default, they're two, two, and 5%, and purity set at zero. All right, so that's all we need to do here, and let's go ahead and close that. And let's pick a nice color here, and let's make that brush size nice and big. Now you can see that I can get a really nice
amount of color variation. And this is a as smooth and fast as you can go. And that's, I think that's awesome. So we'll pick a color, this nice pink color. And let's make it lighter and darker. And that's wonderful. Now up here, you have the option for opacity with pressure, which is another way to adjust what the color looks like. And it looks like it's lighter and darker, but I find that this is not as useful as using the tilt in order to adjust the color. Let's go ahead and tap that in. We're using opacity here, so if you guys are layering colors, uh, something I used to do all the time is I would choose multiply and screen and go over the top. Now that's a little bit too drastic for me, so I'll hit two. You can see I can do these real nice, subtle adjustments here, as well as, uh, let's go screen. And then once I get back to where I want to bring this back up to 100%, uh, we're not gonna do that, we're actually just gonna double tap this and get up to uh, 100%, percent we'll click normal. You guys can see exactly what that looks like. So using all of these together, you can see there's a lot of options and variations and ways that you guys can adjust color extremely quickly. I forgot one thing that's really important. Um, for the pen, the tip, there's a by default that's set to right click and we actually have to change that. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring up, search down here and we're going to... I'm sorry, I didn't... Oh, I'm using a new build of Windows. All right, so we're gonna click here Nope, sorry, we're gonna click here. I'm gonna type calibrate. Calibrate the screen for pen or touch input. And this menu is very, very hard to find. So it's important that, mm, right here, that we point this out. So we're gonna go here to other, configure, uh, your pen and touch settings in pen and touch. Pen and touch, you'd think you'd be able to search for this, but I cannot seem to find it. Right here, use the pen button as a right click equ equivalent. If we click apply here, then when I try and use the color picker, it's going to drag and resize, which is kind of cool, but maybe not exactly what you wanted for a color picker. All right, so let's go ahead and change that. We're going to Oh, we already had it open. Deselect that. This is also where you disable um, press and hold for right click. So you'd click here and you notice I have that disabled because I find it kind of annoying. All right, we're gonna click apply. Okay, okay. And now our color picker is working again. Voila! All right, you guys, those are my three tips. Uh, again, if you guys have questions about Tablet Pro, or you have questions about the pen tool or Keypress OSD, those are all programs that I support. Um, I'll put links to all three of those. Please share this video with any friends who use Photoshop or color picking in any programs because I know that this is a really nice, really efficient way to use uh, shortcuts to speed up your workflow. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, stay creative.